Hi, this is Nicole Young. I'm going to show you how I use levels adjustments to edit the contrast and brightness and also the color in my images. When I do adjustments and editing in my photos, I tend to do non-destructive workflows, which means in this tutorial I'm actually going to be using adjustment layers. But you can also do these effects by just going up to Image, Adjustment, and Levels. This isn't going to add any extra layers to your image. It's actually going to apply the adjustments directly to the background layer. All right, to start out, if you have CS4, you can go ahead and go over to the Adjustment panel, and you can click on the Levels button here. Or you can go to the Layers panel and drop down and go to Levels. Now to explain a little bit about this uh, screen that we're looking at, we have our channel here. We're going to first be working in RGB, and that's actually going to just do the brightness and contrast. But there's also a red, a green, and a blue layer, and I'll get to those in a second. The slider on the left over here is what's going to change the shadows. It's actually going to bring them out and actually make them darker. So if I were to drag this over to the right, and if you watch the image, it actually makes it really dark. It's kind of making the black areas more black, <laughs> and the slider over here is going to affect the highlights, which is pretty much just the opposite. It's going to take those bright areas and just make them even brighter. And then the middle, middle slider, dragging it to the left, will bring out the Brighter, brighten up the mid-tones, and to the right, it's just going to do the opposite and darken them up. So for this image, I'm going to go ahead and just make a few minor adjustments. I'm going to make it a little bit darker, bring the shadows out a little bit, bring the highlights down, and then lighten up the mid-tones, just to make a real subtle adjustment. And I'll toggle it on and off. And one more time so you could see those adjustments that I made. So now we've done some editing to kind of enhance the brightness and the contrast in the image. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and make the color changes to the same layer. But the way that I edit photos, I like to actually keep them on separate layers. I'll show you why after I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and add a new levels adjustment layer. Now this is where we're going to actually change the color channels. I'm going to start out by kind of explaining what these do. To really understand what you're doing to these images, you have to have a basic understanding of how light and color works in photography. All colors in light have an opposite color. For example, the opposite of red is cyan. The opposite of green is magenta, and the opposite of blue is yellow. And in these channels, we'll actually see them in action. So we're in the red channel here, which means the only colors that we can affect are the red and the cyan colors. If I drag the shadow slider all the way over, it's going to make it more cyan. And likewise, if I drag the highlight slider to the left, it's going to bring out the red. The green, dragging this one over makes it more magenta, and then the opposite end makes it more green. And then the same with the blue. Dragging this one to the right is going to bring out the yellows, and then this one is going to create more blue in your image. So just by first glance at this, I'm actually going to go ahead and add some cyan. It needs a little bit because it's a little bit too red. I think I'm going to add just a touch of magenta. I don't want to add too much, so I'm actually going to go to this little number box and using the arrow keys, the up and down arrow keys, you can actually do real small incremental changes. 
All right, so I've done some real minor changes to this. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle it on and off so you can see the overall changes that I've made. I'm gonna do this by holding down the Option or Alt key and then clicking on the eyeball next to the background layer. And that turns off all the other layers. Now if I click it once more, you'll actually see the changes. All right, now in my, in my opinion, I think that the light changes were good, but I think that it kind of affected this flower just a little too much. This is the reason that I like to do two separate levels adjustments. I like to do one for the brightness and contrast and one for the color, because if I want to take, make any changes by masking, I'm not gonna be changing the color, I'm just gonna be affecting the brightness and the contrast. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, masking out of the levels adjustment on this flower. I'm gonna go ahead and default my colors to black and white by clicking D and then I'm going to make it so I'm painting with black. So I'm gonna click X so that black is my foreground color. And then I'm gonna use my right bracket key, key to increase the size. And then I'm just gonna mask it out. It's a very subtle change. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something about levels in Photoshop. To view more of my work, please visit my portfolio at iStockphoto.com slash Z. Please feel free to comment on this and other posts at twipphoto.com.